Hi everyone, I'm Joni from the Yoga Chapel. And I'm Jacqueline from the Physio Nook. This is the little video from after our talk that hopefully you can take with you and practice every day. I'm gonna lead you through some breathing techniques for your pelvic floor. I'm gonna guide you through a quick little movement sequence that you can do morning and evening, and we really hope this helps. So you're gonna find a comfortable position, laying on your back with your knees bent up, feet rested on the floor. You can use one of those very specific cues that you found the most helpful during our in-person talk. Or you can use a more general one where you place a hand on the lower abdomen, just above the pubic bone, and another hand up on the chest. From here, you're gonna take a nice normal breath in and just notice where you feel most of the movement happening in your body. For most of us, you'll feel most of the movement happening up in the chest, so that top hand in your body is gonna be rising and falling the most. Ideally, for pelvic floor function, we would love to see the bottom hand moving the most. So it takes you out of that fight or flight chest or apical breathing and more down low into the abdomen. So once you find that positioning where you can get some good expansion in the lower hand, you're just gonna repeat that about five or 10 times. Just paying attention to the movement and doing your best to tune into the pelvic floor and sense any gentle expansion outwards from the body. It should not feel like a forceful or pressury kind of sensation, but rather just a very natural response to the breath of expansion and relaxation. And as we go through these different positions, you're welcome to pause the video at any time and just spend a little more time with each pose. From this position, we're gonna take some of those same basics and I'm gonna have you roll over on the mat into a hands and knees position. If you want to feel it a little more noticeable, you can rest your head down on your hands, and, but keep your bum up in the air. And you're gonna again, apply that very individual cue that worked for you during the workshop as you inhale. And then as you exhale, just let things return back to the start position. As you repeat your breaths, you're gonna just notice the subtle and gentle movement of the pelvic floor expanding outwards from the body. And as you exhale, just noticing how it rebounds back up, but not in a clenchy or tightening kind of way. And you can repeat this breathing pattern as long as you need to. For those of you who are struggling to connect with the pelvic floor, an additional trick you can try is just rotating out at the hips to bring the feet a little bit wider, still keep the bum positioned up in the air, and add in your breathing strategy. So pelvic floor relaxes as you inhale, and exhale, it just rebounds back up to the body, but not in a tense or clenchy or tightening kind of way. This position is my favorite if you're getting frustrated and with the subtlety of this exercise and are having trouble noticing the, that gentle movement of the pelvic floor with your breathing. And the last position that is often quite helpful for people is to grab a yoga block if you have one. And you're gonna come into a deep squat, supporting the sit bones on the block. You can have the knees as wide as you like. And just resting the elbows on the knees. And then going through that same pattern of inhaling 
to relax pelvic floor using your specific cue or noticing um, some breath all the way down into the lower pelvis. And as you exhale, just noticing how the pelvic floor returns back to its start position. Try to avoid any active engagement in this position. We want the legs and the bum and the glutes to feel fairly relaxed and soft. It should be a pretty passive position supported by the yoga mat or the yoga block rather. And you can repeat that as many times as you need. Thanks for joining me. Let's take a couple more breaths before we transfer out of this shape. You know, the feet are wide, the shoulders are relaxed, and the breath is moving in and out either through your nose or your mouth. Again, like Jacqueline was saying, not having a constriction of your breath, let it normally flow. And even if you just visualize the belly rising and falling, we'll start to train a deeper rhythm of breath from the upper lobes of your lungs to your lower lobes of your lungs. The lungs that are attached to the diaphragm, diaphragm attached to the pelvic floor. So slowly come forward, let's use our fingertips to remove the block and I'm gonna get you to come back into that squat. Now for some of us, we might be up on the toes and that's totally fine. Some of us, we are able to drop the heels debt all the way down to the floor. I don't want you to worry so much about that. You're gonna tempt the fingertips anyways and allow the weight to fall kind of into the hands holding the knees at the arms and heavying the heels if they're lifted from the ground. Again, if the heels are down onto the floor, let them stay on the floor. The trickier part is we've lost the block is that the glutes wanna fire right back up. I want you to soften the bum, kind of bring the bum as far to the ground as you can without contracting the glutes and let the pelvis hang open. Kind of like your sex organs, your um, anus, your every, all of those holes. <laughs> all of those holes, Jacqueline. We allow them to hang down towards the floor. So it's teaching the body to be in this position, which can be very uncomfortable for some of us. Let's see if that slow, slow rhythm of breath can come back and forth. And again, holding as long as you want. Let's say three long breaths in and out through the nose or the mouth. And so we come through our toes, we're gonna come right onto our back and we're gonna basically do the rest of the practice on our back, on our mat. So you come down towards the floor, take the feet mat with distance apart, and allow the shoulders to come down, the knees to gently touch together. So you're closing up that space that we just had open. You'll notice maybe that my lower back is slightly lifted from the floor, and I'm resting on the sit bones and the back of the shoulders. And it feels okay allowing the hands to rest gently onto the belly. Tap into maybe that breath or visualize the breath moving in and moving out. Again, not a contraction on the exhale. You don't need to force anything. You're resting and relaxing the body. Let's separate the knees, walk the feet a little closer together. Like you're gonna come into a bridge, you can even feather touch the back of the heels with the fingertips to set you up. And when we start to allowing for the heels to come closer, you'll notice the low back will start to automatically drop towards the floor. But now I want you to tuck the pelvis. So a tucked pelvis kind of feels like the low back or it should feel like the low back is touching or smushing against the ground. 
right? A tilted pelvis, we have this nice round, this natural curve underneath us. A tuck position is we're trying to take that out. Now that's gonna charge up the abdominals, so the front muscles in the front of our body, it's gonna shorten those muscles a little bit, which is gonna make it very tricky to breathe as deeply as we just were. But this is gonna help strengthen the pelvic floor, allow the feet to be soft and the shoulders, and then there's what we call the brace under breath. So as you're breathing as deeply as you can, you're gonna to try to keep the pelvis tucked and the low back down and the muscles engaged within that frame. And as deeply as you can breathe in and out. And you're gonna do that for, let's say one minute. That is a challenge. So even 30 seconds, even 10 breaths. You find the breath come in right into the container of your belly and try to exhale without losing the container of the belly. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep the pelvis tucked. Remember this is, should be action. It might feel shorter and over time it will become longer and longer, those exhales and those inhales. So let's do two more together. Exhale into that braced breath. Breathe in and breathe out. And then relax the, the tuck of the pelvis. The pelvis will automatically tilt back to its natural and neutral position. And it will feel really nice to take those longer breaths because now you have the space from all around your belly, the sides and the back body. And just resting the hands kind of right at the thighs or beside your body. walking the feet closer together, allow the knees to drop out wide. And again, trying to visualize opening the pelvis and creating space in that bowl that is our pelvic bone and that um, pelvic floor. So in a rest, rested position, you wanna adjust so that the bum is flat and the shoulder blades are flat, you're still in a neutral spine. You're allowing gravity to open up that space. So it's more of like a sensation of a stretch, not just the inside of the legs, but maybe even the pelvic floor gets a little bit of that action. You can rest the hands beside you or on the body. And we're coming back to that breath. It's always the breath. The breath is what's gonna calm our body down, even in shapes that might feel uncomfortable or uneasy. For some of us, it's gonna feel really nice to hang out in this shape. For others, it's really tight. If it's too tight, allow the knees to come a little closer together. And if you can maintain or over time, start to drop the knees out and down towards the floor. Again, this is one of those poses you can hold for about a minute or so, maybe work up to it, but we're gonna be here for another five breaths, in and out, focusing on the pelvic floor, focusing inside the body, and just how Jacqueline talked about where that muscle is, can you visualize it in your mind? Take one more breath in. Slightly force the breath out. Drop the hands beside the body. Tuck the pelvis to re-engage the core. The knees might slightly lift towards your body. Push to the outside of your feet and slowly start to lift the hips to hover over the ground. This one's a tricky one. So get used to being balanced. Try not to sway back and forth. Try to lift straight up and keep contracting by tucking the pelvis in. Now we're shortening the muscles as we lift. So this is more of an action, more than a relaxation. The knees pull away from your body as you try to keep the pelvis as high as you can. Kind of dropped on the shoulders and the back of the skull. Now I'm gonna hold it for three breaths. You do wanna work up to a minute if you can. Remember, all of these are really good to start to slowly integrate into your life. You don't have to force it. 
keep tucking the pelvis, moving the knees away from you, pulling the pelvis apart, breathing as deeply as you can underneath some pressure. Good, breath in, lift. On the exhale, slowly drop your body back down. Let the knees be heavy with gravity as you open up that space and maybe find a bit more relaxation as you let all that tension kind of dissipate. Okay, bringing the hands around the legs. So slowly bringing the knees to touch. Walking the heels back towards the bum, feather touching the heels. Last little piece, let's tuck the pelvis. As you tuck the pelvis, keep the body flat, so the back body flat. Drive and grab the floor with the toes and gently pick up the hips as high as you can into your bridge. Don't worry how high you get. And immediately your bum will wanna squeeze together. And that's okay, let those muscles start to work with you as you begin. But over time, as you practice more and more, I want you to think relaxing the glutes, squeezing kind of the anus in, so there is still action in the pelvic floor as it holds your body up, but you're not giving it all to the back body and the glutes. Right? You want the quads and the front of the legs to take some of that weight, but more focusing on the pelvic floor and the abdominals holding you in the shape. We're gonna do three breaths, but again, you can hold for a minute. Minutes at a time are good. Hands are down, even push through the palms. Try to relax the bum as you keep the hips as high as you can. Think focusing on squeezing that anus together like we talked about before. Everything moves up and in, breath in, and breath out. One more. Inhale high into the toes, exhale massaging down through the spine, right through the low back, down towards the heels, allowing the knees to touch, resting the arms beside the body. Take an inhale, squeeze the knees together, exhale, relax. Two more, inhale, squeeze the knees together, exhale, relax. One more, breath in. Exhale, relax the knees. And I'm gonna leave you here, either with the feet mat with distance apart or the knees together, or fully extending the legs in what we call Shavasana on our back. Left hand onto the belly, right hand onto the heart, how Jacqueline started our breath rate. A reconnection. And sending gratitude towards your body and not focusing on maybe where the body is in tension or traction, but that you're just showing up for yourself. That in itself is an amazing practice. That you're focusing on your breath, you're trying to heal, get stronger. So if you have more time, stay here as long as you can. And we'll see you next time. Oh, test, test. Yeah. This is a pelvis. I'm Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> we are testing to make sure this works. Pelvises are amazing. Pelvic floors are amazing. I'm just down the street.